Hey everybody, it's here from TheGamingEact.com. Here we are today back in Jackbox Party Pack 6, grabbing the Giant Slayer achievement. This is going to be done in a game of Joke Boat. It is to beat a joke that has a unanimous vote in the final round. So this is going to be done in a 5-8 to eight player game. I recommend doing this with 5 just for the sake of simplicity. And that is the minimum required for this achievement. So round 1 is going to start and you are going to start off with writing some subjects. Once again, this part has no bearing on the rest of the game since if you do skip this, the game should auto-generate stuff anyways. Then you are supposed to write some jokes. You want to make sure you pick a player that you are going to feed your points to. In this case, I'm going to pick player 1. Make sure you make their punchlines distinguishable from the other players. I like using a numbering system. However, you can use whatever makes it easier for you. And then when it gets time to the performing and the voting phase, all you have to do is make sure you feed all of your votes to player one and this will ensure that every single one of player one's jokes gets a unanimous vote. So you should have three votes towards each of the player one jokes. As for the other person, just make sure you don't vote for them and they should be held down to a zero point. So every time player one steps up to the mic, they should win 3-0. And then other than that, you have the other players when they face off, make sure you just don't vote for them and run the clock out that way they end up 0-0 zero, zero, and that way you only vote for player one during the first round so player one should come up twice because every player gets two jokes so make sure you cycle through all of the other players face-offs and make sure you don't vote for anyone and make sure you only vote for player one so that setup is going to leave us at the end of round one with player one being the only person with any score. Round two is going to start and then you are supposed to come up with some more punchlines. Keep to your numbering system in order to distinguish player one's votes from everyone else. And then it's going to be more or less the same thing just with different jokes. But if you kept it numbered the same, it should play exactly the same. Make sure you vote for player one whenever they pop up, which should be a total of twice. And in any rounds where they are not involved, just run the clock out and make sure sure everyone else gets a score of 0-0. Zero, zero. So this run is going to be pretty long with five players. However, keep in mind you are not doing much work for any rounds not involving player one, so it's not too bad of a grind. Once you get to the end of round two, it should be more or less the same. Player one should be the only player with any votes. Then we are going to enter the final round. Once this round starts, the game is going to give us some previously used jokes that we are going to have to rewrite the punchlines to. So once again, just stick to our numbering system, making sure that you can distinguish player one's punchlines from every other player. So make sure you make theirs completely different so you don't get confused. Then once you get to the first face-off, you are going to have player one against one of these other players. And then all you have to do this time is to make sure you vote against player one instead of voting for them. So this time you're feeding all of your points to the opposite player and this way they overcome a joke that has had a unanimous vote in a previous round and that should net you the achievement there it is 50 gamer score and that's all there is to it